And welcome back, Rock here, and welcome to a new game for our Rock Plays series. The game of choice, if you haven't guessed, as of such, is Fez. Now, Fez is a indie game that is kind of like an a platform puzzle, puzzle type of game. Now, I've uh, I've heard it, it, this game. I don't. I, I think it came out like a year ago on Xbox, but in general, this game I've been waiting a long time to play uh, because back quite a few years ago, the tech demo for Fez went out and kind of kind of blew up. So I've been pretty excited to play this game for some time now, and it looks like this is the time now to play it. And it looks like we got some a pirate guy putting some mail in there. A nice sophisticated guy. Oh, that's a adorable cat. Yeah, you get that butterfly. A miss, miss chick, a little dorky guy, some little children, some chillin'. Walk up to the mailbox. All right. Left control to read mail. Dear Gomez, please meet me at the top of the village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is a special day, geezer. All right. So apparently that guy at the top is the geezer. Um, Alright, so... Um, arrow keys to move. Space to jump. Um, I, J, K, L to look around. Ooh, that's some weird keys. Can I reconfigure that? Maybe? No. Um, pause. Okay. We're using IJKL. That's. I would have assumed it was. It would have been WSAD. Okay, this is just. Okay, that's just. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Our little character kind of looks around. Yeah. All right, so maybe we don't have to worry about that. Um, so left sh shift. Hold up to grab the ledge. Okay, that's useful to know. Uh, left and right to shimmy down the drop space. Or up to hoist. Can I talk to you? No. Um. Uh, open the entry door. This is not my house. Screw it. We're going in. <laughs> the posh, sophisticated man. Um. I'm on your mantle, dirtying your books. What now? Okay, um, so I would, if I had to assume, oh, there we go. Locked door requires a key to open them. Okay, that's good to know. Press up the whole direction of climb vines. Can I talk to you, miss? I love villages. I lived here my whole life. Um, that's good to know. I can't jump off this, can I? Oh, I can. What's your favorite shape? Um, can you have a favorite shape? Circle? Square. Not cube. That's for sure. Because there's no such thing. Oh, totally. No such thing as a cube in it's 2D, 2D world. It looks like a Tetris piece back there, too. That's pretty cool. Are you the geezer? Or you're a geezer. Reality is perception. Perception is subjective. Wise words. What do we got in here? Okay, the pirate guy's house. Let me just jump on this guy's bed real quick. Okay. I feel content. That would have been funny if the guy came bursting into the room like, Hey, no jumping on the bed! Can I talk to you, kit? kitty cat? Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And a meow 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 and a meow meow.
there are no such thing as devil squares. Only regular squares. What the hell's a devil square? Um, sure, we'll go with that. I have no idea what a devil square is. Maybe a cube. If I had to guess. A 3D square. Oh. Can I? Oh, I can't jump. Oh, over. Okay, so I can jump off of this platform. Uh, let's see if we can jump up. Here we go. How are you doing, you posture? You're looking nice and flat today. Oh, no! Alright. Note to self. Not to... No, I jumped out! Oh. Well, at least it's kind of enough... Kind of to reset us back here. Uh, I'll assume I'm not supposed to get there. You just... Oh! Space bars to jump. Gotta get room. Gotta... I gotta use these controls. They're kind of... A bit weirder controls. Hey, ha! There you are. Today is a special day. Adventure, adventure is ready. It's Gomez time. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Any time now. Just you wait. There we go. What's that? And that. And that. And that. And that. Ah, uh -huh, it's a cube. Is this where we get introduced to the three 3D elements of the game? Maybe? Maybe. Oh uh, yeah, this totally is. Oh, some loud music. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, totally don't understand a single thing you just said. No, nope, nothing. Oh no! Where are you taking us? What are you doing? Uh, ha ha ha! Alright, so we, I guess at this point we get, finally get introduced to the, uh, the concept of 3D world. Sure. Whatever. Totally understand what you're saying. Y'all, shit, son. Here comes our Fez. <laughs> nice blocky Fez. Boop. <laughs> I was such a derpy face. Use A D to change your perspective. Oh yeah. That's awesome. What's all this errors? I don't like the look of it. <laughs> Is it intentional? Okay. I would assume yes. Maybe. Did the game crash on us or something? What is going on? Okay, I think that was intentional. Oh yeah, we got our Fez now. Okay, that's cool. Oh man, we should totally get over that chest. Gomez, something went wrong. I need your help. I was sent to guide you. 
I am Dutch. A, hexa, a hexahedron that has been fragmented. Shattered and scattered all over the world, you must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse, and you have received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There is a world beyond your village, and a dimension beyond one of you occupy. This door leads you to the outside world, but for now, it's sealed shut. Uh, the markings on it indicate uh, it won't open until you have collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in the world. Each requires more cubes than the last. To reach the end of the journey, you must you will need to find all 32 cubes. But first, you must leave this place. There are eight cube bits in this village, like this one, like this one right here. Together, you'll form a full cube, which you can use to unseal the door. Find them. All. Okay. So quick recap, shiny gold cubes, very important, gotta find them all, or else the universe collapses into it, no pressure. And remember, EA, you change your perspective, now get going. <laughs> That's funny. So this kind of reminds me a bit, because, you know, in science, oh, okay, I still gotta get used to this, and I, 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 I like to partake in a bit of science videos and stuff every so often. Okay, no, I don't want to. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Um, I, li I like phys uh, theory, theoretical science stuff and stuff like that. So, oh, a lot of it talks about, um, you know, dim dimensions and stuff. Like, you know, how many dimensions do we have? And in theory... Well, we, we pra in practice, we have three dimensions to our world that we can physically see and touch and stuff. But it's theorized that there's more than three dimensions. And it's I guess it would be similar to this, where you know, this person lives in two dimensions. And because he can only see the two dimensions normally, that's all he can only perceive that they're to be. And it would probably be the same for us. Like, we only can see three dimensions. But I'm sure if we could see more uh oh well, it's it's not going to be until we can see more that we're going to know that there's more than three dimensions uh, where are the points okay we're gonna go all the way to the top oh we can get over that thing now oh i messed up i done i done messed up oh nope I keep wanting to press up to sh jump. Arrgh! Okay, I can't open that chest yet. Arrgh! Okay, so that's four. We need four more pieces. A treasure chest. To open it, face it from the front and press the left control. Okay, that's the front. What we got in here? Yeah! Oh, that should open that, um... I found a key. You can open the locked doors with it. Okay, yeah, I remember... Oh! Okay. I remember there being a locked door over... Over... Meow? What, what do you have for us, locked door? <laughs> That's such a derpy smile. That's such a derpy smile. You have found a treasure map. A map of what uh, to where, I don't know. Figure it out yourself. Thanks. Um... Something. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Alright, so we're still looking for more pieces. Sup. What was I gone for? Oh, long time. Maybe 
be in my room. Oh no, everyone. The hell is this? Oh, is it a thing that shows us where we're going to? Maybe. There's supposed to be eight fragments in this area. Um, maybe in some buildings? If I had to guess. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, let's get right here. Uh -huh. A treasure chest. Open it, face it, left control. Ah, uh, yeah, I totally gotta get used to these controls. It's gonna be weird as shit. Okay. We have an extra key. Uh, it's a matter of figuring out where this key goes. Goes to. this rotational effect stuff. It's very unique. It's very... Uh... Oh, someone's messaging me. got for us. A long time, I'm turning now, I'm tired. <sighs> I have no idea where this leads us. I'm so lost. We're missing four cubes and as far as we can tell we've hit everything. house right here. We've got a few houses that we can hit up that could possibly be in. Um, like that. Okay, that gives us a little evolutionary picture. Addition. Okay, so we got three pieces left. Hmm. I'm gonna assume they're in a, a house somewhere. That's my best guess. Okay, there we go. So that gives us two pieces left. We're gonna feed, find these two pieces and then probably end this episode for today and we'll continue with another time. But I think probably let's check this house right here. I think the rest of them have to be in houses. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that leaves us with one more piece left and we're all set. Uh, sh shoot. I think we've gone through all the houses. For the most part. How about you, Posture? Uh, let's 
see this house. I don't know if I've went in this house yet. The door is closed, so maybe not. There we go. That's the money. There's all eight pieces. Okay, so let's get down to the bottom area. Yeah! That smile, I tell you. The derpiest thing ever. You did it! Now you can unseal the door. Achievement unlocked. Get a cube. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Lame. Unsealed. Are you ready to begin your adventure? How's yeah, I am. Let's do this. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Oh, Navi. I know this is your first time in the outside of the village, so if you get lost, you can use the world map. Press escape to bring up the world map. Oh, that's cool. It's a 3D, 3D world map I can spin around and stuff. All right. Alright, so with that, I think we'll call it an episode for today. As always, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. This is Rock, and I'll catch you guys next time.